In other news breaking with a decades-long held tradition, the Iranian National Olympic Committee, or NOC, has just published a letter on Saturday detailing the end of its boycott against competing with Israeli athletes. Thus, as illustrated in the letter posted by the International Judo Federation, Iran will fully respect the Olympic Charter and its non-discrimination principle. Iran's compliance, while admirable, however, comes after the International Judo Federation first reached out to the Iranian sports ministries. And in fact, the IJF website cites a recent history of a disturbing phenomenon involving sudden injury or failure of weigh-in of Iranian athletes, linked by many to the possible obligation of the given athletes to compete against certain countries. And the IJF has even threatened Iran with banishment from future competitions. Further, even the signatories of the Iranian statement have benefited from the anti-Israel boycott. President of the Iranian Judo Federation Arash Mirat Smiley, for example, was paid $125,000 in 2004 after intentionally getting disqualified from competition against Israeli judoka Udi Wax. And Mirat Smiley told the BBC at the time that it was in sympathy with the oppressed Palestinians. That being said, though, many athletes and athletic directors, even in the Arab world, have since criticized this practice already, especially as it's not unique to judo. And in response to calls against normalization from pro-Palestinian detractors, such critics simply respond with how it's better to beat the Israelis on the world stage than to lose to them on purpose because of a boycott.